let's take another one a man traveling towards east at 8 km per hour finds that the wind seems to blow directly from the north on doubling the speed he finds that it appears to come from northeast find the velocity of the wind so this north does it mean his north or uh, the normal his north his north and normal north will be the same right turn towards the right and then if it's traveling then the north will be like the other side north is fixed north is a fixed thing my north and your north would be the same right but if they are facing like opposite then it will be different north blowing from the north north direction doesn't change if i are, if we are facing other side if i if i turn round north will remain north right it is not from his north or something it is from the north that's it are you all aware of the concept of relative velocity when you see this word seems seems means relative to the man see this word seems so whatever is the velocity of the man the wind relative to man appears to come from north okay this appears to come from north so let me just make a diagram like this so let's say the man is moving in this way 8i okay so this is your v man this is what he sees he sees that the wind is coming from the north so this is the v man minus sorry v wind minus v man since it is coming from the north means it is going towards the negative y axis so you can call it as minus p j so is it 8 root 2 correct direction what is the direction so is it in uh, one second one second okay so let's say the wind velocity is xi plus yj so what is given to you here is vm minus sorry vw minus vm why am i writing m every time here sorry v w minus v m is minus p j so x i plus y j minus 8 i is minus p j which is nothing but x minus 8 i y j is minus p j now guys uh we have not yet studied about the concept of linear dependent and linear independent but here let me tell you since there is no i component over here you can safely say that this is zero which means x is equal to 8 okay now second scenario is if he doubles his velocity let's say he makes it 16 i now this becomes your new velocity of the man then the wind appears to come from northeast okay So let me say it is minus q i plus j. Okay. So this time v wind minus v man is going to be minus q i plus j. So x i plus y j minus sixteen i is minus q i minus q j. Okay. Which makes it x minus sixteen i plus y j is minus q i minus q j. Now x minus sixteen should be equal to minus q. X is already eight, so minus eight is equal to minus q. That means q is equal to eight. And from here y is equal to minus q. That means y is minus eight. Okay. So. the velocity of the wind becomes 8i minus 8j that means the wind is appearing to come from the north this is 8i minus 8i minus 8j correct that means the wind is coming from north west okay and the speed of the wind that is mod of the speed of the wind velocity will be 8 root 2 whatever units clear everyone
please type clr if it is clear okay next question so how important is this chapter like considering the competitive exam very important very important vector at least two questions 3d at least two questions vector 3d combined three to four questions will come find a unit vector c if this bisects the angle between c and 3i plus 4j so basically there is a vector 3i plus 4j okay there is another vector c which is actually a unit vector so c is a unit vector okay and there is a vector which bisects the angle okay this vector is your minus i plus j minus k find c vector so here is a very important concept which i want to uh, talk about um, why are this problem is see if you have any vector a okay and you have another vector b okay and there is a vector which is bisecting the angle between a and b okay let me say c then let me tell you that c vector can be expressed as lambda times a by mod a plus b by mod b now of course my question would be how how is this possible can you at least justify this so what i'm claiming here is that the c will lie along lambda is just a, you know just a saying that there is a vector along the direction of this vector at least somehow you get this vector lambda you can always justify lambda means any vector which is collinear or lying parallel to that vector then we'll come back to this problem so as of now park this problem and let's try to focus on this anyone any idea aditya shreya rutu ardra samyukta you can unmute yourself and talk no worries don't know sir <laughs> you have muted yourself to just say don't know <laughs> okay sir uh, could it be like from parallelogram law of vector addition and if we take the parallelogram if we take a special case then we can prove this but are we allowed to take special cases uh yeah go ahead let's see what is your special case how special is this tell me through special case only no problem technically i'm not sure whether in parallelogram angles are bisected that's why i'm taking a special case of a square mm -hmm. so then um, by parallelogram law of vector addition c vector will be the resultant vector Absolutely. and that absolutely there is nothing wrong in that see you actually uh, you know you are doing whatever is required see if i take a unit vector along a let's say unit vector is like this okay so let's say i take a unit vector along a a cap let's say okay a unit vector along b b cap can i say since these two vectors are of the same length one unit okay this parallelogram will have will be more or less like a rhombus isn't it so if i if i take a bisector over here can i say this bisector angle will connect this point to the midpoint of these two correct yes or no do you agree that yes, bisector angle will connect the midpoint so if let's say this is your o and this position vector is a cap this position vector is b cap then this position vector would be a cap plus b cap by 2 correct can i say any vector in the direction of let's say i call this point as c any vector in the direction of c can i say it will be some constant let me call that constant as lambda not lambda let me call it as uh, Uh, beta beta times a cap plus b cap by 2 correct so even c lies in the direction of this so 
C is nothing but some constant times A cap plus B cap by 2. Can I just pull out a 2 out and write A cap and B cap as A by mod A and B by mod B. And B, beta by 2 is just another constant which we can call it as lambda also. So, can I now say that any... This is a very important result, guys. Let me tell you, there is some reason why I am deriving this all because this result is important. This result is directly used in solving many problems. Okay. So, any bisector angle vector which is bisecting the angle between vector A and vector B could be written as lambda times A by mod A plus B by mod B. Getting my point. Now, can you please use this to solve this given problem? Now come back to this question. Now this C is different, okay? Don't get confused. This C was my bisector. This C is the one which is getting bisected. So now don't have the same C carry forward, okay? Uh, now solve this. So can I say uh, minus so is it 3 by 5 i cap minus 4 by 5 j? No, no, no. The answer is slightly more complicated. Can I say this vector is lambda times c vector? Let's say c vector is xi plus yj plus zk. So c, c vector itself is a unit vector. So you don't have to do a by mod a. Uh, by the way, let me just make a confirmation here that this will be equal to 1. Plus 3i plus 4j by 5. Is that clear? By the same logic that we discussed over here. Okay. This bisector vector is lambda times the unit vector along C, which itself is a unit vector. So I've just written it like this plus unit vector along 3i plus 4j, which is 3i plus 4j by 5. Now let us compare the coefficients. Minus 1 is lambda times x plus 3 by 5. j component is 1 over here. j component here is lambda times y plus 4 by 5. k component is minus 1 lambda times z. Correct? Is that fine? So now Z is minus 1 by lambda. Y is nothing but <coughs> minus 4 by 5 minus 1 by lambda. Plus 1 by, yeah, sorry. Which you can write it as uh, 5 minus 4 lambda by 5 lambda also. And X is nothing but minus 1 by lambda minus 3 by 5. Which is nothing but minus of now, how do I get the lambda value? By using the fact that x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1. Because x, y, z are the components of a unit vector. So, 5 plus 3 lambda square by 25 lambda square. 5 minus 4 lambda square by 25 lambda square. And 25 by 25 lambda square should be equal to 1. Correct. So let's take 25 lambda square on the other side. So it is 5 plus 3 lambda square, 5 minus 4 lambda square, plus 25 is 25 lambda square. Let me expand it. If you expand it, uh, 9 plus 25 lambda square here itself, I'll get, and I'll get. <coughs> 30 lambda minus 40 lambda, which is minus 10 lambda. And constant terms will be 25 plus 25 plus 25, that is 75 is equal to 25 lambda square. So 25 lambda square, 25 lambda square gets cancelled off, giving you lambda value as 75 by 10, which is 15 by 2. Okay. That means x, now put it back over here. Put it back at these these values this value this value and this value so x will be nothing but minus 1 by lambda which is uh, minus 2 by 15 minus 3 by 5 minus 3 by 5 you can write it as minus 2 by 15 minus 9 by 15 that is minus 11 by 15 is your x y will be minus 4 by 5 
plus 2 by 15. That is minus 12 by 15 plus 2 by 15, which is actually minus 10 by 15. And uh, Z will be minus 1 by lambda, which is minus 2 by 15. So your final answer will be your C vector is minus 11 by 15 I minus 10 by 15 J minus 2 by 15 K. Okay. Any questions so far? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. So this is going to be your answer.